morning glory flowers which are not only attractive to our eyes even humming birds and butterflies like them beautiful flowers Welcome to Kavis Plants and Orchids. This is my morning glory vine which is grown in a planter. This is a different color which you usually see and I have the other blue color also but it is growing in another area of my garden. But since I saw these blooms I thought I will share it with you. Actually, morning glory vine forms twining vines with bell-shaped flowers. Why it is named morning glory is the name comes from the flowers which last a single day because they are quick and easy and very colorful. It is the most popular annual vine and it belongs to the family of Convolucaceae which contains thousands more than thousands species people love morning glory for their fast growth and twining habits and it has attractive flowers also and it it is tolerant to poor and dry soil it can be considered as a drought tolerant plant some glories some morning glories are excellent vines which can be used for creating summer shade on building walls where it can be trellised and trellied and which will keep the building cool and in summer i will show you the other color over there this is the other color i have this is growing nearby my gate today some four four flowers are there this is another color you can it need a trellis to climb because it is a vining plant and uh, we will see the care of the plant they if you want or this i have growing from seed only i brought it from delhi actually and the first uh, batch of seeds then grow germinate then the next batch i was able to germinate that is why my morning glories are flowering late otherwise usually people uh, plant them in the early spring so when the winter is over it starts flowering but here we don't have much winter so it would have flowered earlier because i planted them late i am having late blooms they have slender stems and heart shaped leaves and the flowers comes from pink purple magenta and white here i have two types of flowers they are fragrant flowers and they are attractive to our hummingbirds and butterflies they train can be they can be trained to climb arch or they can even used as ground cover they are very beautiful flowers and uh, how to uh, it the location of the plant is very important they need sunlight full sunlight not uh, shade and all or uh, 
indirect sunlight they want direct sunlight that too for at least 6 hours a day then only they will flower and uh, pest attack is there aphids leaf miners spider mites caterpillars also eat sometimes i'll show you see here caterpillar has eaten so you should be spraying it with neem oil sometimes it can have fungal leaf spots or fusarium wilt also in that case fusarium wilt comes you have to use a, a systemic fungicide the systemic fungicide uh, is given in the root uh, in the soil so it will they be taken by the root and the whole plant will be saved and you need to give them a balanced fertilizer potash fertilizer is good once it starts flowering because uh, potassium is needed for flowering before that you can use, give them when they are give, young you can give nitrogen rich fertilizer here i am giving them sheep dung you can see the sheep dung I, I didn't give any chemical fertilizer for it and uh, once they are uh, the plant uh, the flowers are spent if you don't want seeds to form you can just remove the flowers which are spent flowers and propagation is you can use the stem cuttings or usually they grow they are grown from seeds they are they will self seed Okay, uh, where the if the place where you are growing is very good the seeds will grow in the ground and it will be there on on uh, conditions are right it will germinate when you are plant, uh, trying to germinate a seed you can file the seed and put it in a little bit of warm water and then try germinating it will be good for for easy germination and uh, the poi the seeds are little bit poisonous so children should not eat it so have to be very careful when you have morning glory plant in the house so there is one more morning glory i show you that this is the third morning glory i have it is growing in a small pot and you should use well drained soil even though it is a even though it's a drought resistant plant it needs well drained soil to grow nicely this place is not a, it doesn't get much sunlight that is why it is growing in a very not in a very healthy state but still it has produced some flowers today some three four flowers are there like the video about morning glory plants if you like the video press the like button if you are a first time viewer consider subscribing thank you for watching